So there was a moment when I thought this would make an absolutely fantastic film and then a split second later my heart fell out my chest when I realised that that could never happen and I became quite distraught. So the first part of this review of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child will be spoiler free but there are so many things in here that I desperately want to talk about in depth and share discussions with you about that I will let you know whether I'm about to spoil things. So I guess two things first of all. One, I absolutely loved it and you must read it. It's as simple as that. Two, I haven't seen the stage play yet. I did have a ticket to see both parts one and two but then I couldn't go and that was devastating but I'm actually kind of glad I didn't get to see it because I like the fact that I've actually read it first and then when I eventually in 25 years time when tickets are available get to see it I'll, I'll, I'll kind of be able to visualise things for the first time knowing the story and I'm looking forward to that. So obviously The Cursed Child is a play that needs no introduction but if you're not actually aware of what the story is about it's about Harry and Ginny's son Albus and he and Harry, his father, seem to be quite different personalities in the clash and, and Albus is kind of wearing his father's fame on his shoulders as a burden and he's in difficulties at school and he befriends Scorpius, Draco's son, and they end up going back in time to try and change something. I could potentially give a little bit more information about the plot than that without spoiling it, but I honestly think you should go in with as little knowledge as possible. I did, I went in knowing basically nothing about the plot and it was just a fantastic surprise from start to finish. Okay, so from here I will be going into pretty immense details, so if you do not want to know any spoilers, please stop watching until you've read it, as I really do not want to spoil this amazing journey for you. With that out of the way, can I say that I love Scorpius. I mean, I've always loved Draco as a character. I am a Slytherin, I love them, but Scorpius is fantastic. He's such an interesting character and in many ways there were a lot of scenes in this where I thought actually this is more about Scorpius than it is about Albus and I know that's not the case for the most part but I just love him and I love his character development and while I really don't like it when franchises or series have their own kind of spin-offs I think that this could really work with this character so definitely Scorpius was my favourite character in the entire thing. I must say Albus actually annoyed me quite a little bit. There were points where I thought you're not a likeable character but I don't know if that was the intention because he was being a little bit obnoxious and annoying and obviously because we all love and care for Harry Potter when there's a conflicting character even when it's his own son it can be quite an emotional battle. I don't know what I think about Delphi. I know I love the darker side of Harry Potter in the wizarding world but to me Delphi just wasn't that interesting. When it was revealed who she was I did kind of you know have a sharp intake of breath because it was such a dramatic twist and I thought it was a fantastic compelling scene but as a character I thought it just doesn't really add much value to you for me. I did worry for some of the time that it was basically going to be a retelling of the Goblet of Fire. Thankfully that wasn't a case. I do think some of the flashback scenes when they go back in time were really quite thrilling. Very comical. I think there's quite a lot of comedy in this which I wasn't really expecting and Ron especially. I mean, Ron is a comedy king and I just love the way we had different personalities and characters trying on new roles and having different styles of living. It really kind of helped mould them into new people and kind of give us a different perspective of what they would be like in different scenarios. And the bit that broke my heart was when Snape came into it and I went, yes, it's Severus, I love him. And I thought, yes, they need to make this into a film, it'll be brilliant. And then I realised what happened at the beginning of this year. Um, and obviously nobody, nobody could ever play Snape like Alan Rickman. Obviously somebody will be playing him in the stage play, but for a film it would have to be Alan Rickman through and through and I would be heartbroken and everybody else would be if they turned this into a film without Alan Rickman. So that was a, a, a little bit of a disappointing moment and kind of a heartbreaking moment but to have Snape in this and to have Dumbledore and Voldemort, it's just fantastic. Also the trolley witch on top of the train, one of the most hilarious things I've ever read. So obviously I've only reviewed this as a piece of writing and apart from an abundance of absent commas it's actually really well written and very enjoyable to read. There are scenes in this where I think how on earth are they going to do that on stage? Now I have seen some pretty awesome stage shows. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is quite a magical one. So I know that there is a lot of kind of technological possibilities that they could be doing with this. And I just, I have to see it to see how certain scenes unfold and, and what it's like and, and what the characters are like on stage brought to life and the atmosphere in the theatre would just be so magical that I need, need, need to see this. 
I love it. I cannot express my love for this enough and I don't actually think my opinion is biased because there are a lot of Harry Potter things that I actually don't like because I think they're milking it too much and it's just turned into a bit of a cash cow. But this is phenomenal and it, I think it is the story we were all waiting for. Everything and more. It really is. Please do let me know your thoughts on The Cursed Child in the comments. Try and keep the comments spoiler free for people who perhaps haven't seen it but would like to see it. But obviously if you want to talk spoilers, feel free to private message me. I could talk about this all day. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Do let me know your thoughts and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.